the things that Sam Cart is not good at uh, and is not a suitable solution for. And then we're going to talk about, there is one, one um, scenario in which Sam Cart is a great idea, and that's for the high-end ticket item or even any single ticket item. So uh, a course, especially, or anything where you're going to sell one thing and maybe upsell uh, when you get to the cart, but it's not going to be a very good solution for anybody where you want to have an add to cart functionality so that a person can buy more than one item. And also I wanted to take a minute to talk about their integration with WooCommerce. Uh, a client had asked me to integrate with WooCommerce and so we did some brief Googling and it looked like there was an integration. So we went ahead and bought SamCart, but it actually, uh, the integration isn't an integration. So um, there's, there's a definite red flag there if you're looking to use it with WooCommerce. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, if you do jump on live, say hi. Uh, let me know you're here. Uh, otherwise, you can catch the replay. But it is important. I wanted to let everyone know that Sam Card is not going to be the solution for most bloggers. Bloggers that are selling printables, downloads, ebooks, um, even if you're selling courses and you want to sell more than one, uh, this is not going to be a very good solution. It's also going to be problematic if you're trying to use it and combine it with WooCommerce. This is not a WooCommerce friendly solution and I'll tell you why. Uh, it is a checkout solution. So SamCart is great if you have one product and you want it to be on a sales page and their templates are really well done. They're backed by science. They're going to have high conversion rates. So you get your template. Um, the person adds to cart the, uh, the course or the single item that you're selling. And then there's an upsell. Perfect. Great. It works wonderfully. And it's a checkout takes them through the process and you're done. Now, if you're using WooCommerce, that is because you have a shop and you have more than one item and you want to be able to have the person add them to a cart. So you want to add uh, a couple of items. You want them to go back to shopping. You want them to see related items or you might also like this item. Cross sells, they're called, and upsells. Sam Cart does do upsells, uh, but it does not do an add to cart function. So WooCommerce is, uh, so their integration with WooCommerce, SamCart's integration with WooCommerce at the moment is to, and they just launched, so I imagine this is going to get better over time, is to replace the link, the checkout link with their link. So in SamCart you go, you create your product and they give you a special link and then you put it on your blog and then when somebody's interested in that product, they click the link and it takes them to the sales page and they go through the whole process. If you have a bunch of stuff in WooCommerce, you have your product. If somebody's interested, they click add to cart, but there is no add to cart functionality with SamCart. So let's say you have one product and you want to use it. So what they're telling you to do is to go into that product, and where it says add to cart or where it says check out now, you replace the checkout link in WooCommerce with the Sam cart link for that same product. And then it takes you to the sales page and your checkout process and all of that. So you have the same process with those templates that they have scientifically designed and all of that. The problem with that is that WooCommerce does not give you a place to put that link. So you cannot easily exchange the checkout link. The checkout link is dynamically created. So your, there is no link really. The plugin creates the link to do the checkout. So I could do it and any developer could do it by rewriting a little bit of the plugin. That's gonna be more expense than it's worth for most of you since WooCommerce also has great templates and you can use scientific principles to develop those 
templates as well. And they also have upsells, which is one of their big key features for uh, selling Sam Cart about how fantastic it is, is because it has uh, upsells feature, which absolutely uh, raises your conversion rates and your sales and your profits. So use it. But it is available in WooCommerce as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on is uh, the WooCommerce, yes, does not have an integration that works very well unless you're willing to rewrite the plugin, which means on the next upgrade, you have to rewrite it again. Um, and there is an upsell. Okay, so here is a solution if you really want to use SamCart. Uh, there is a plugin that's not WooCommerce and it is called WP eStore. That's WordPress eStore by Tricks and Tips and Tricks Headquarters. And it is easily customizable and you just create your products and your checkout and it gives you little short codes that you can add to your own pages and posts. And this way you can change the link to checkout via SamCart. Now I haven't done that integration, but that to me seems like a far easier um, integration to sort of play with. Now the WPE store only works for digital products. So the bottom line, Sam Cart, although great for Amy Porterfield and a lot of other course sellers, if you're selling one item and then upselling or cross-selling in the checkout, perfect, go to town. If you are using WooCommerce, it is not a good solution. If you are selling more than one product, like your printable shop or your eBooks or anything where you want the person to be able to add to cart, you cannot do that with Sam Cart. So bottom line is, I know this is really popular right now and very well promoted, but it is not a good solution for most of my blogging friends. So keep that in mind. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything I can help you with. Um, yeah, email me. It's Kathy at WP Barista and it's Kathy with a C. Okay, bye.